What's up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we look at the long shots and how to get easy long shots in COD Mobile. Why that? Because you need the long shot medals, guys. If you're grinding your gold camos and platinum camos and all that, you have a series of challenges, headshots and long shots. Usually, they're the last you're going to have to do because they don't go well together. Either you do the long shots or you do the headshots. But yeah, usually headshots, you try to be close. Now, long shots, you're not going to get many headshots while doing these. I still suggest you do long shots before if you have the choice because you're still going to get some lucky headshots while doing the long shots. Now, the description is not very clear. All they say is kill an enemy with a long distance shot. They don't say how many meters and some guys are questioning is it depending on the range of the gun or not. So it is not clear, but you're going to have to go for long distance shots, guys. And I have a great map, great mode, and I'm going to show you all my spots to get my long shots. Now, with this strategy, you can get over 20 long shots in a game if you do it right. If you get a bit of luck, you can get even more, guys. So let's get started. And before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily Cosmobile videos. Now, let's go. First of all, the map and the game mode. I suggest you guys use Hardpoint on Rust. Now that was suggested by some of you guys in my YouTube comments. I was doing a video on how to get gold camos fast. Now on that video, I was recommending doing the long shots on frontline and in kill house because every kill pretty much you had a long shot, but it was a bit slow. People have a lot of places to take cover. It's not as easy as Rust. Rust is a little bit more wide open. So I will show you guys my spots and how the games go most of the time. Now today I'm using the ASM-10 because that's the weapon I'm working on right now. But the strat for the gunsmith is going to be the same pretty much for any weapon. What you're looking for guys, if you're going to go for long shots, you want to try to increase these stats. Accuracy, range and controls. Accuracy is for the bullet spread. You're going to fight long range targets. So you want your bullets to go straight. Now controls is for the recoil. So if you're going to shoot... Of course, at long distance, you're going to have to burst, but it's going to be much better if you have better control, so less recoil. Now, the range is the damage at long range. And again, you want to kill your targets fast because you're going to get a bunch of assists. If you're just trying to hit your target and you hit a bullet here and a bullet there and you don't do much damage, you're going to get all your kills stolen and it's very frustrating to get assist after assist after assist. So I value these three stats over anything else of course the mobility is going to take a huge drop but you don't care it's public games all you need is your long shots you're not even going for the win you're just going for the long shots the more you can get it's all that matters so definitely look for an under barrel barrel muzzle and a grip usually they will increase these stats now optics is personal preference I think it's much easier with a red dot to see your target at long range, see what you're shooting at. Now, if you don't need uptakes, just go for the perk long shot. It's going to help with your damage a little bit more or just whatever you like for real. I mean, at this point, you can go uh, with a mag, extended mag is always good. So anyways, we got the strat, we got the map, we got the game mode, we got the gunsmith. Let's get into a game and I will show you my spots right now. So at the start of the game, you're going to see where you spawn. Because you know where the first art point is going to be. One of the spawns is better than the other in my opinion. Now this is the one. If you're here, you're going to see the hard point right here. And it is a long shot. If you stay around here, you're going to pick up some targets as they come for the hard point. And see that's a long shot number one. I missed the second one because I got an assist. But you get long shots from here for real. So I already got three long shots and it's just the start of the game. And I don't care if I don't have the hard point. Like I said... I'm just farming long shots right now. So I got probably five or six already. Now, depending on the teams, uh, at some point they're gonna abandon the hard point and they're gonna start flanking you. So there's another thing you can do and is uh, start looking for your enemies to flank if you play versus real players sometime. So that will be long shot, long shot, long shot. So you can stay around the corner. Now, if you spawn on the other side over there, uh, let me just get a few more here. If you spawn on the other side, I will go around on the left. If some dudes are camping in the spawn here, from here you can get long shots. And if there's nobody in the, small, the spawn, you're gonna come here right there. And you're gonna start doing your, uh, your long shots from here. Now prepare for the next hard point. 
Just gonna try to get one more here before Changing they switch the hard point. The next hard point is gonna be here. Now that's perfect. We are at the right spot right now. You can get long shots if they are on the hard point or if they're coming for the hard point. See that guy? That was a long shot. So if they're coming from uh, the tunnel or the ground, you're gonna get long shots. Now, unfortunately, uh, my teammates flipped the spawn for no reason. Uh, they're now spawning here. So we're gonna try maybe get a, a few headshots. And I'm about to run out of ammo anyway, so I'm gonna have to kill myself soon. But yeah, usually uh, they don't spawn here. They still spawn on the other side if you stay here. Uh, my teammates push pretty hard on the left for, for some reason. So, But if you play versus real players, they're gonna come from here for real. The, the top of the tunnel and under the tunnel, it's all long shots from here. See here? There's another one. Long shot, easy. Uh, I've got 20 bullets right now, so I'm about to kill myself. Uh, if they come this way, you can still get some long shots here, uh, over there, and the one you just saw, like, here, you can get long shots from here. So, um, I guess they're spawning over there, or, oh yeah, like, if they're gonna spawn there, I'm just gonna go in this corner. Um, another way you can do it also is, I'm gonna do it right now, because now the, the hard point swapped, or changed place, so I'm gonna go all the way in the corner over there. That's another great spot for, for two reasons. First is this hard point, right? This is gonna be long shot. See, long shot metal. And if they spawn here also, this is perfect. All right, so I'm about to run out of ammo for real. I'm gonna kill myself with a nade here. Um, I could go for nukes, but that's not the point. Like if you use your operators, if you use your score streaks, you're missing the point. What we're doing here is farming long shots and nothing else. So that's not long shot. This is too close. But again, I'm going to go back to uh, where I was and try to get a few more before uh, the hard point changes. Because the next hard point is going to be here, right? All right, let's see what we got now. Uh, hard point just switched. So you can see uh, where they're going to spawn maybe. Because if they still spawning there, you got a perfect spot. But if they're not, uh, you gotta go try to pick some some spots. But it's a pretty rough one here, guys. But again, like if they are hiding, you're not gonna get shot. So they have to show that was a long shot. So here behind the barrel, but they have to show their face, right? So if they if they hide in the corner, you're not getting long shots. So you can still try to pick up a few shots until the hard point uh, is gonna switch again. Right, that's gonna be a long shot if I can hit. Two more. Hopefully they stop spawning there for real. Another one. Changing mag. Now I'm not using my score streaks, but when I play versus real players, I still throw my care package, but I don't grab them. First of all, you don't want to use the score streaks that gonna kill. Uh, but you hope that maybe it's gonna be a, a veto, and they're gonna grab it because I'm still trying to destroy veto. Um, with my FHJ guys, I'm still looking for four. See, so I got way more than 10 long shots and this game is not over, you know? So try to look for the spawn. Uh, if nobody's gonna be on that corner, I'm just gonna go back on the, on the top. Cause they're probably gonna spawn in the corner where I just left. Let's go back in the corner, I guess. All right, see, all long shots from here. It's a great spot for real. Contact with enemy. And more long time. shots. And I got a lucky headshots. It's pretty random at long range for real. You're not gonna get many. Now, um, I kind of hope my teammates are not going to be uh, for going for that corner because I want the bots to keep spawning there. You know, this is so easy. And I'm out of ammo again, so I'm gonna have to kill myself. Again, that gives you a pretty good idea. The Enemy game was over shot. anyway, so uh, by the time I kill myself and respawn, uh, it was 140. So anyways, gives you a pretty good idea how to get long shots. It's a great game mode for that. It's the perfect map. Well, see, I didn't even try that hard. I was talking at the same time. I missed a bunch of shots, um, and I got 21 long shots. So you need something like 80. You can do it in four games if you do good. Of course, it takes a little bit of practice, but 
And of course, some guns are tougher than others. Some guns have more recoil. The SMGs are a bigger grind, but they need less kills. So, um, yeah, I suggest you try that, guys. Hard point, Rust, best map, best game mode for easy long shots. Uh, much better than what I recommended in the past, for real. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys have other tips I didn't cover in this video, please leave a comment below. And help the whole community get better at grinding gold camels. Always looking to improve for real. And sharing the tips with the community. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like. Don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.